I'll, I'll stand on that side. Okay. Thank you. One thing that I'll add, I think that's really interesting. I mean, it's always, if you want to practice, like I do that often to myself, like if you want to practice something, record yourself, watch it back, you know how to tweak yourself. Yeah. Especially before you go before the bank. It's great idea. Before you go to the bank. <laughs> um, okay, here's the remote right here, Joshua. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, just want to let everyone know I'm very anti-social and just all shy. So. <laughs> Uh, my name is Josh Rojas. I own a piece of my construction. Um, I started it last year in 2017. It's headquartered in Western New York. Uh, it's, I'm a full service general contracting, serving residential, industrial, and uh, commercial clients. My slogan is construction you could be at peace with. Uh, our mission statement is honest integrity and reliability. These are more than just words at peace of my construction. They are the hallmark of what we bring to every customer we serve. It's not just another job, it's our reputation on the lives to deliver quality workmanship. As we grow, we uh, prosper. As we grow, we plan to give back to our community who made it all possible. Without them, we would be nothing. Um, I plan to mimic Amazon. I'm a big uh, review type of guy. I love reading reviews. Um, I plan to have a five-star rating at always at all times. Um, Amazon is does what they say. If your package is going to be there in two days, I plan to be there when I say I'm going to be there and make sure you're satisfied. Um, our services, uh, customer satisfactions, once our customer signs off on the scope of work, uh, there, no project is too big or small. We search for the best available building materials to accomplish the job at the best value. Uh, we offer A to Z services. Um, our uh, immediate business goal will be complete 24 month, month business plan with financial projections, acquire city of Buffalo like commercial contractors license, become OSHA certified, hire and train two construction workers to help complete jobs, sign contracts for at least three new construction jobs, secure a $50,000 line of credit for business, our short term, about a year, a year ago, will be start process for obtaining a plumber and electrician's license because the market likes a one-stop shop, um, not hiring a whole bunch of different people in and out, timing issues and stuff like that. Um, register for state and federal minority business enterprise. Develop a marketing plan beyond Facebook with a kick-ass website. Our, uh, <laughs> our two year ago would be established a company work location to store tools, equipment, and supplies and meet with customers. Build a sustainable business volume of 200,000 annually. Our target market is homeowners, small business operations, disaster related repairs, investor rental properties, house flippers, word of mouth, satisfied customers, website driven business referrals, and referrals from other contractors. Since 2010, industry experts attribute these upward trends to the following. New building permits continue to show an increase in remodeling projects as in, and an increase in the overall size of the project. There has been a growth of 5.3% annually through 2017 and is estimated to grow to 7% through 2021. The industry reaches reached Three hundred forty billion in 2017 and is expected to be well over 400 billion by 2020. A survey in 2017 pegged projects typed at kitchens 26% bath 31 at home all other home 28%. Um, most overall about 45% of customers want experienced contractors to complete the job. More customers prefer to hire a full service contractor for their project. Uh, competition in Western New York there are approximately 160 contractors who primarily operate under residential remodeling uh, NAICS code 236118 home re uh, remodeling contractors specialize in painting wall covering drywall insulation framing siding basement remodeling bathroom and kitchen remodeling other specialty construction activities 
The average home remodeling company employs about four workers and generates about $300,000 annually and has been in the business for at least eight years. There are about 40 local contractors who generate revenue over a half a million dollars and 24 who generate over a million annually in Erie and Niagara County. Um, reputation, word of mouth, promptness and completing the job and craftsmanship are key to building success in the home repair and remodeling industry. Um, my team partners to be determined is an accountant, lawyer, and a bank. Uh, Reference USA has got me a lot of information that I had no idea about. Um, US uh, SBA administration uh, has helped me a lot. Uh, this program, I learned a lot, met a lot of people. I appreciate you guys. Um, I met Mark, he's my score mentor, great guy. Um, he definitely got me up and running at speed. Um, Facebook referrals and satisfied customers. On my Facebook page and my Google page, I have five stars throughout. Um, I'm Joshua Rojas, uh, CEO. I started working at Melco Construction in 2013 as an apprentice and left as a journeyman carpenter. 2016. Um, I started Peace of Mind Construction in 2017. Um, I will be licensed by the end of next week with the City of Buffalo. Um, I took two Schuler Tile company, uh, classes, uh, Tile Fundamentals. I took a Blueprint Reading class. Uh, over the past two years, um, I have built uh, a name for myself, piece of my construction, and I have purchased over $40,000 in construction tools and equipment. Um, I reinvest into my company as much as I can. Uh, I own a work vehicle that allows me to get the jobs done um, and haul material to the jobs. Um, our business plan includes hiring two additional skilled workers, purchasing an additional company vehicle, as well as necessary tools and equipment to support the growth of the company. To accomplish these objectives, the company will apply for a $25,000 term loan. The company will also apply for a revolving line of credit of $50,000 from a bank. This financing will allow the company to bid on jobs and purchase needed materials, performance bonds, insurance, and licenses to accommodate the completion of each job, customers, customer down payments, and progress payments will be used to pay down the line of credit as received. So, um, yeah, uh, if you want to reach out to me, Peace of Mind Construction, POMC716 at Gmail, uh, my Facebook page, I try to upload daily, I'll uh, show all my projects that I have going on, and uh, when you hire Peace of Mind Construction, it's construction you could be a piece of it. Questions? <laughs> Do you have workers now, Joshua? That yeah. are skilled, or do you have a hard time finding? I, it's, it, it seems like every time I see construction, they have a hard time finding yeah. someone who can actually it's uh, a, do the work. It's a hard, <laughs> it's a hard trade. Um, as I was at Melco for four years, we seen guys come in and go. We made bets how long they're gonna last, and <laughs> it's not for everyone. Um, I'm a friend, uh, training someone right now. I got an apprentice, and um, it's going pretty good. Are you able to do the same thing as far as start someone an apprenticeship and give them a journeyman, you know, like you did at your other company? I don't know, I specifically know how, I'm not one yeah, to say how that works, but I know big companies like um, Moog or something like that can train an electrician to get an apprenticeship and then, yeah. like you did. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you apply yourself, you you got to want to learn. I don't watch sports. I don't really go out. Every day after work, I go home and read more and learn more. And if you apply yourself, the sky's the limit. So I, I tell everyone, you can do whatever I can do. So. Okay. Josh, oh, I'm go ahead. So will you do the electrical work and the plumbing work and other trades? I have to hire. I want to. Um, I don't like the idea. Me personally, I mean, there's opinion. Some people look at it the glass half empty, half full. But I look at it as a, a one-stop shop, cutting out the middleman. Um, when you, I think when you go to bid a job, you're trying to tell them a customer a time frame and a price, but um, I think if I was that guy that does it all, and I know it's going to be hard because getting an uh, electrician and plumber license, it takes a long time, but 
I'm 25, so I have a lot of time ahead of me to, to get those licenses, but I think a one-stop shop is <clears throat> what will be best. So you do subcontract for if you should you need an electrician? You need yeah, an electrician yep. tomorrow. Or yeah, yep. But I would like to cancel that out in the future. This, um, before I became a carpenter, I was a jeweler, and uh, my teacher told me um, just to focus on repairs and stone setting, and I didn't want to do that because time frame and pricing. Um, so I went on my own and I learned casting, um, wax carving, um, a lot of stuff. So if you got a rush job, I could tell you, I could guarantee that the job is going to be done tomorrow because I don't have to check with the other guy to see if he could fit me in. So are you saying that you're going to hire an electrician or you're going to be the electrician? For the time being now, I will stop out the work, but sure. my goal is to get my own plumbers and uh, okay. electricians. So you will have that on staff? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. Now, what portion of your your uh, backlog of your work is going to be residential versus commercial? Um, I started off in a commercial field for four years. I love it. Um, you start early, 6 a.m., you get out early, 3.30. Uh, residential is very different. You're dealing with homeowners. You gotta get to know them and work around them. Um, I enjoy, they appreciate you. Um, so far, I like it, but I'm really open to wherever the money's at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Good answer. Yeah, um, because when you think about your gross profit <laughs> margins, they're going to be different. Very different, yeah. You know, so when you're doing your projections, it's, it's always good to determine, well, maybe 75% or 50% is going to be residential, 25% yeah. is going to be commercial. Just something to think about. Yeah. I, I just know um, commercial, all you need is one good developer and you're set. Yes. That's so true. residential, you're building, you're dealing with different homeowners and you're hoping for that good word of mouth. And, um, but I'm, I'm willing to, wherever the life takes me, I'm willing to, to do it. I done both, so I enjoy both. I enjoy the work experience, so. Right, right now, um, like you said you need a line of credit. How are your receivables right now? So you do a job, how much you t how, how much do you take up front, and how long does it take for someone to fully pay back? Um, I usually, a rule of thumb is half, but I've been doing a lot of reading, and a lot of companies go under because they're so providing their own <laughs> cash flow to support another person's job, like a homeowner's job. So they have a lot of risk, and contractors have a lot of, of bad names because they start the job, they want the money, and never show up. So I'm trying to change that where the homeowner or the, the client um, funds the job. That way, there's a less risk for me. But there's risk for them too. So I've been doing a lot of reading, and uh, that's what we're trying to do right now. Have uh, you, cash, cash and other. Have you had any issues in that case where um, you're doing a job and you have to pull up your own cash, or you're, you're kind of stringent with cash and you have to ask the, the person to yeah. kind of upfront more of it? Has that ever been an issue? Um, as of right now, it's you gotta both have skin in the game. You gotta fill out the customer, and they gotta fill out me. So I, I like to always be halfway. But if I see a red flag, I just, I don't go for it at all. But word of mouth is everything to me, so if uh, a homeowner or a client comes up to me and based on referral, and I remember their last, who that person was, it means a lot to me. And the same thing with me. Uh, people won't even judge me or not, oh, this guy told me you're good for it, and I want you, I don't want no one else. Awesome. Do you qualify the customer before you start to work? I, uh, terms of them being able yes, to I pre screen customers a lot. There's some, every customer is not my customer. Um, that's just the way it is. And do you get a deposit? Is that what you asked? Do you get a deposit? Yeah, when yeah. Into the deal? yeah, yeah. Okay. I know with the larger commercial deals, yeah. you got to wait 30 gonna, days to get yeah, a final payment. Yeah. Yeah. Is your marketing going to be uh, geared on both sides of the fence? Are you going to be marketing for commercial and residential business? Um, I think I'm only going to be marketing for residential because commercial, once you, like I said, you build that name with the one person, he's, he's going to sell for you. So I don't think there's a need to market for commercial. So you're going to do commercial work, but you're not going to be gearing your marketing towards it? Yes, commercial to fill in when it's residential is not going too good, uh, commercial is always going to be there. So I think commercial to fall back on, but I would like to stay in residential. 
is your is your long term goal to be the general and not to be a foot soldier? Well, I I have to earn my stripes, um, and I have to lead, show my guys. I can't. To me, the way I see it is, I don't want to just point the finger, do this, do that. I would like to earn my respect for my guys and um, earn my stripes, build my name. Um, I don't want to build it with just workers. I want to be on the site, and after that. I could be the office guy bidding jobs and stuff like that. And there's a lot of risk to that too. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think you have to weigh that out. You know, when you when you, when you talk about being a general versus coming in as a sub. Yeah. Um, different level of risk, different level of insurance. So I mean, all of that has to go into your projections as well. Yeah. I mean, overall, I'd, I'd add. I think overall it's great. You're on the right track. I would think about, or maybe as you start to get this ready for. You mentioned a twenty-five thousand dollars term loan and, and the line of credit. Uh, what your sales were so far, how that works, and you're making profit-wise, and try to build those numbers up. What it would look like. Uh, another recommendation, again, just as you're, if you're going the residential contractor route, there's twenty-five hundred realtors in Western New York. Just try to network with them because they they have the business. I mean, they want people to do stuff all the time. More free advice. Yeah. Right here. I love it. I'll take it off. Okay, good. Really great job.